On July 20, 1969, humanity achieved what was once thought impossible. We walked on the moon. Apollo 11 was not just a NASA mission. It was a giant leap for mankind, a moment of awe, unity, and unimaginable courage. Here's how three astronauts took us 250,000 miles away from Earth and made history. The Apollo 11 mission didn't happen in isolation. It was part of the Cold War space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. After the USSR launched Sputnik and sent Yuri Gagarin into space, the United States knew it had to catch up. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy boldly declared, We choose to go to the moon. It would take eight years of innovation, risk, and determination. On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 launched from Cape Kennedy. Aboard were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. After four days in space, Armstrong and Aldrin entered the lunar module Eagle and descended toward the surface. The world held its breath until Armstrong radioed back. The Eagle has landed. Hours later, he took mankind's first steps on the moon. Neil Armstrong stepped onto the lunar surface and spoke words etched into history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He and Buzz Aldrin spent over two hours walking the moon, collecting samples and setting up instruments. Meanwhile, Michael Collins orbited above, piloting the command module Columbia. After 21 hours on the moon, the crew lifted off, reunited in orbit, and began the journey home. On July 24, 1969, Apollo 11 splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The mission was complete. Humanity had become a spacefaring species. Apollo 11 inspired generations of dreamers, scientists, and explorers. It showed what's possible when humanity works together to reach for the stars. Since that day, no goal has seemed too distant. The moon landing wasn't the end, it was just the beginning. Thanks for watching the history facts. If you're amazed by what Apollo 11 achieved, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more moments that reshaped our world. Because history isn't just about the past, it's about what comes next.